Welcome. Uh, what I wanted to do today is show you how to divide a binomial into a trinomial. And for this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it using synthetic division because whenever we have a binomial and it's in the terms of you know n minus two or what we like to actually say is uh, x minus k, when it's in that form, it's very helpful for us to be able to use synthetic division because what we're going to do now is if I can have it in this form. What we'll do is we'll take a trinomial and I'll use synthetic division. So a trinomial, or in this one, we have a quadratic. Um, and a quadratic, you could say, I could have ax squared plus bx plus c divided by x minus k. All right, when you have it in this form. So if you have a quadratic divided by a binomial that's in this form, we can take, we'll take our k, and then we'll just divide it into our a, b, and c. And I'll show you what to do with that in a second. So to follow this format, to follow kind of the synthetic division, what we're going to do is we need to determine what our k is. Well, remember our form is x minus k, so we need to use the opposite of this 2. So I'm going to have a negative 2, since we're taking the opposite. You can see that's negative k to a k. So you're going to be taking the opposite sign of what you have in your binomial. So since that's 2, my k is going to be a negative 2. And then you can see I take a, b, and c, the coefficients of each one of my terms. And make sure if you're missing a term, don't skip over the coefficient. So I have 1, 6, and 6. Okay, so here's how synthetic division works. First thing we do is we drop down the first number as 1. All right? Then we take negative 2 times 1 and put it over here. Then what we're going to do is add 6 plus negative 2 gives me 4. I'll put a little multiplication symbol to remember to multiply. Negative 2 times 4 gives you negative 8. 6 plus negative 8 gives you negative 2. Uh, then that's the it. So now we need to look at this and say, all right, <clears throat> What are our final answers? Well, if you remember when we were doing long division, that if we had a, a leftover number, that was our remainder. So in our term, that's going to be our remainder. Our last term is going to be our constant. And this is going to be our linear variable, or we'll just call our x. So my final answer is going to be x, that's a positive 4, x plus 4, and then plus my remainder, negative 2, over my divisor, which is n plus Oh, this is using n's, right? My linear term is n. n plus 4 divided by n plus 2. And that is how you follow the rules for synthetic division. Thanks.